Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. There is another little civil war brewing in the SNP. We have one, uh, one MSP, uh, a former minister indeed, who is now telling the uh, the, the SNP Green government, uh, the governing you know people, um, her own party, to uh, think again on a policy. Please don't do it, she's saying. Uh, because the Green SNPs who sit there and they're trying to bring up uh, a limitation or trying to clamp down on mule burns, which is where you set fire to the underbrush and all this, try and clear the land. Um, it happens in, in, in you know, na in nature with usually with uh, thunder strikes, uh, but when it hasn't been one for a while, it's set, you know, set on purpose. They literally set it on fire. Fire rages through quite quickly, burns off the top level, doesn't get down to destroy the roots or anything. The fresh growth comes up, and it actually helps the soil massively. It's a good thing. Uh, but because they see fire burning, oh, bad for the environment, the Greens and uh, all the MSPs, they all sit there, all country boys, oh, sorry, all city boys, haven't got a clue about the countryside. They just see this and think it's bad. It's not. It's necessary. It's part of nature. And the plants need it sometimes in order to get a stronger foothold. It's beneficial burning. But they don't know that because they're stupid. Uh, and so they're trying to bring in this rule that clamps down in and stops it happening. So anyway, one member who comes from a rural area has stood up and said, please, God, don't. You mustn't stop it. It's important. Uh, and they're causing this big rift. And so you have one member fighting against the uh, the rest of the party and the, and, the, and the government. And who is, I ask you, you know, I hear you ask, who is this one member? Well, it is Kate Forbes. She now is taking to task and she's moaning. I think she's probably pushing uh, against the current lot because none of uh, none of her supporters got a place in cabinet um, and so she's got no alignment with the cabinet so she's free to say these things and good honor really i do like a rift in the party anyway we'll take a look at this story and see what's going on now so fiery kate forbes in new clash with smp ministers over the clampdown on muirburn the former party leadership contender now a backbench critic has warned the scottish government to be really careful about reducing controlled burning in the highlands because it is as i say it's a very necessary thing now when i saw this picture i've got to be honest when i saw this picture my mind went immediately to jk rowling and i thought ah she's brought out a new book harry potter and the gender reassignment surgery <laughs> it's very good isn't it she does look like him scars in the wrong place but hey that's a different matter uh, anyway kate forbes has opened a new front against the smp green movement as she criticized plans to clamp down on controlled burning on moors in the highlands um and you can see you, when you know the science behind it you do understand it needs to be done uh, they had a thing in uh the pacific northwest where they, you know in the 50s they started clamping down and really putting all this time effort and money into closing down all these forest fires and then they noticed that all the redwoods were dying off there was no redwoods and the actual fact that the redwoods need the fires to sweep through in order for them to flourish it's uh, one of those counterintuitive things uh, because the fire goes so quickly shoom, through, it doesn't really damage the redwoods, but that heat and the sizzling and that helps the new ones come. They drop their seeds and up comes the new ones, and it really, you know, f they flourish after a fire. Um, and so they stopped fighting them, and in the end, they actually started laying them. Uh, they were necessary, uh, and that's what happens here. But of course, you've got the townies don't know nothing, do they? These town boys, them town boys, they know nothing. They do. Uh, anyway, the former finance secretary has previously criticised her party leadership rival, Hamza Yousaf over highly protected marine areas. Another thing that does nothing, not based in scientific fact. It's just, uh, they say, oh, we'll pick 10% number plucked from the air. It's no reasoning for it. And we'll, we don't even know where we're going to do it because we haven't even researched it. But we'll, we'll stop fishing there. Nothing to do with fish, nothing to do with protecting fish, everything to do with destroying the economy. Uh, the MSP, who organised the summit on Highland wildfires, uh, wildfires on Wednesday, said the practice of Muirburn, was con the controlled burning of heather, gorse and grassland, was crucial in a way of reducing the spread of wildfires. And what you do is you control a burn and you, you burn through that way. It refreshes the ground and it stops worse things happening. It is important. But of course, you're dealing with morons. You can't explain things to these people. And if you do, you're wasting your time because they don't get it. They're thick. Uh, anyway, it comes as new legislation is going through Holyrood to introduce new controls on mule burn, which is currently covered only by a code of practice with a standard season between October the 1st and April the 15th. The Wildlife Management and Muirburn Scotland Bill will introduce a year-round licensing requirement and a virtual ban on peatland Muirburn. However, many land managers say it is an important part of their work. The gorse, especially, is a bugger. You need to get rid of it sometimes. It just, it just takes over. Uh, speaking to the PA News Agency, 
Following the summit, Ms Forbes said many land managers had argued that Muirburn created fire breaks which reduced fuel when wildfires, wildfires start. Again, it's another good reason. It means you can control burn little areas. If you've got that fire break and you do need to clear the gorse, you can set your fire, boom, it goes across, it blanks it. You then have the fresh, refreshed soil and it hasn't gone vroom out and taken out a million other things. It's controllable. These idiots have no idea about how farming works. None of them have been farmers. Um, especially Blackford, and he pretends he has. Oh, the, the, just a humble crofter. Yeah, me ass. Anyway, uh, there is a suggestion of clamping down on Muirburn, she said. And I think there was a consensus that we really need to be careful, ensuring that there are as many effective techniques to control fire as possible. What's wrong with it? You see, the current legislation, oh, it's a code of practice and you do it between them dates and whatever. And that's fine. You don't need to be licensed. If you're the landowner and you need to do it, do it. What's been the problem over the years that you need to bring this law in? There's been no reason to bring the law, except, of course, for the SNP trying to micromanage every single aspect of every person's lives, no matter what they do. Oh, there's something. We don't have a rule over that. We better make one, even though there's been nothing wrong with it for a thousand years. But they need, they feel the need to interfere because they've got to insert themselves in every aspect of everybody's life. Uh, the Lakaiba Sky and Badnock MSP said, I think the message is that we need to ensure we have as many techniques at our disposal for combating fire. That needs to include helicopters dropping water, but I also it also needs to include a break in the vegetation. And that is usually a man-made break through the form of controlled burning. Ms Forbes also discussed the Ferrari over HPMAs, which have been dropped, or not really, although critics believe that they'll be simply reintroduced in a different form. We've mentioned this before. They've not been dropped, they've been shelved, and in a little while, they'll take them down, blow the dust off them, change the name, and reintroduce them. But again, it's a pointless exercise. It's not based in science, it's based on the Greens' need to do something, because they've had nothing, nothing. The sooner we get an election, get the Greens out, the better. Uh, in another U-turn that may or may not prove to be only a partial one, Mr Yousaf has said the SNP executive will rethink its plans to curb alcohol advertising. In other words, they're going to try and do something that won't utterly destroy the very successful drinks industry that Scotland has. One of its major, major industries. And they're looking to destroy it by banning advertising. What is wrong with these people? Again, they're pushing to destroy all um, all industry in Scotland. They want to destroy oil. They want to destroy fishing. They want to destroy farming. Now they want to destroy the drinks industry. They want Scotland to go back to, you know, um, communist peasantry, basically. Communist era peasantry. They'll probably have collective farms. People eating a potato a day just to strive to stay alive. That's where they're going. Um, and they need to be booted out of office between before everyone starves. Uh, Ms Forbes said, uh, credit where it's due, I actually commend the First Minister for changing his approach on HPMAs. In other words, getting rid of them. She was dead set against them. Uh, which I said would do, would do I would do during the leadership contest and for adapting alcohol advertising, which I said I would do during the campaign. And hopefully we can continue that approach of listening. Well, nobody is listening uh, in, in government. Uh, the government of, of Scotland did not listen to anyone. I mean, it's, it's just there, you know. Uh, the summit, which Ms Forbes said was really positive, was attended by the Rural Affairs Secretary, Mary Gugin. Uh, she said, our wildlife management in Muirburn, Muirburn Bill places strict regulations on the use of Muirburn and blah, blah, blah. And it's a lot of old crap that they're talking because they intend to go ahead with it anyway, because they need to have that policy of continual interference. I'll say goodbye to Katie Potter as I come up and finish off. Expelliarmus. I do so like division and changes in the SNP. While they're busy infighting, they're not doing any more damage outside, are they? They're not going out into the real world and causing more mayhem, mischief and mimicry. They are a bunch of useless, stupid tossers. They really are. And now they go and interfere in country matters. They all live in cities. What do they know? They know nothing, nothing. And yet they feel fit to sit there and pontificate on people's lives. Lives that they've, li they've never lived, lives they know nothing about, habits and practices that are alien to them, and yet they sit there and pretend to be experts. Full of absolute wank, aren't they? Anyway, I'll stop now. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, do please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. And until next time, stay safe, stay well. And if you ever get a chance to go to Hogwarts, always do. It's much fun. Bye.